Smart objects are one of the most powerful and yet least understood features in Photoshop. Essentially what a smart object is, is a reference to the original file. It means that no matter what you do, your original is sacred. You always have a safety net. And smart filters, which are built upon smart objects, give you that same flexibility with filters. Instead of just committing a filter, you have a filter layer. You can revisit the properties after the fact. So it's one thing to describe it. It's yet another to take a look at how it actually works. So let's check it out. So first, let's look at a standard file. This is a standard high-res 22.9 megabyte image. And if I double click on my zoom tool, we can zoom in and see that there's lots of detail. Let's fit that to screen. We'll select all of it, and we're going to transform it down. And this is something that happens all the time. You take your file, and you might use it for the web or something else. It gets merged down. The problem is, if I go to transform this later, working with this little 576K file, and as I pull this up, I see that it's really low res. OK, so let's cancel this out and start over. And this time, we're going to come up to Layer, Smart Object, Convert to Smart Object. And when we transform this down and commit it, and then transform it up, we have access to the full resolution original file. We can go to the same size or even larger. If we went larger, we'll see on the left is the original size, on the right is the new larger size. So we've got a reference to the original file that we're changing. Another thing we can do with a smart object that we can't normally do is we have what's essentially filter layers. Instead of a filter being baked onto an image, we can go back and change its parameters afterwards. So if I come up to my filter menu, I'll see that Convert for Smart Filters is grayed out, and almost all of my filters are available here. Let's use Sharpen as an example. If I come in here, and let's apply a really aggressive Sharpen. I click OK for that, and maybe that looks all right to me. And looking at it later, close in, I see just how crunchy that is. But all I have to do is double click in my Layers panel, and I've got my Smart Sharpen dialog with the parameters I put in. And I can pull those back down and click OK. Just like Layers, I can change the blend modes and the opacity as well, so I can really finesse the results. OK, so let's look at something totally different that we can do creatively using Smart Objects. And to do that, I'm going to step over to Bridge to look at multiple images. OK, so this looks like seven shots of the exact same photo. They're actually seven different photos. If I click on that and hit the space bar and toggle through these, you'll notice that the alignment shifts slightly, and so does the noise. I purposely shot these in low light so that I could create noisy images. All right, let's pop back to Photoshop and look at how we're going to get rid of that noise using smart objects. We're going to come up to our File menu. Go down to Scripts and Load Files into Stack. It's the same thing as loading files into Layers. And we're going to browse to our seven images, Shift-click to select those. And Photoshop is going to offer us two options that are both exactly what we want. One, align all of those images. And two, create a smart object after loading them. This is a feature that's really been embraced by astrophotographers, people who are taking long exposures of the night sky and need to get rid of dust, moisture, hot pixels, and errant bits and pieces that are moving around between their images. OK, so if I double click on my zoom tool, that'll take us into 100%. And we can confirm that those seven images have a wrapper around them, and they're still very noisy. Let's move into 300% so we can really see what we're working with. Now again, these are really, really noisy images. I took them in almost no light at all. I knew they would be a problem. But what I can do is come up here, and under Smart Objects, I have all of these stack options. They're essentially running math on those stacks of images. And if I run Median, it's going to keep all of the information that's in half or more of the images. And as you'll see, not only does it do that, but it discards the noise. The noise is different in every image, so the things that change go away 
the things that are the same stay. If I toggle Command Z, I can see that I've completely removed the noise by stacking these images. It's just a different way of looking at them. Let's back up to 100% and toggle, and you can really see the difference. So that gives you a good overview of smart objects and smart filters. Really flexible references to the original file, and in the latter example, even really creative effects that you can only get by using smart objects. Both of them are a fantastic addition to your Photoshop playbook.